Hi, I'm Cass. And I'm Lee. And today we are starting a new thing, <laughs> <laughs> video thing, um, where we taste test chais. Chai teas. Iced chai tea lattes <laughs> from different like coffee shops and like do like a little like try to see the best one in yeah. like a state. Right now we're in Oklahoma, mm -hmm. so we're gonna try to find the best one near where we're staying of chai tea. Right. And so the first one we have is um, called Dutch Bros Coffee. Um, it's very popular, um, but so the qualities we're going to be testing today is going to be a scale from one to five. Um, if you're okay with that. Yeah, I'm fine with that. So one to five on um, how strong the spice is, how watered down it is, like if it's less watered down or more watered down, and um... Or taste watered down doesn't yeah. necessarily mean it is. Right, right. <laughs> and we'll, we might upgrade the system later. Yeah. Because we, I don't this know. This is our first time doing it. We'll, we'll see if we each try to bring something different to the table. We exactly. might need to add a new category. Exactly. So Dutch Bros, uh, I'll put like a little thing here, I guess. Um, <laughs> so for me, I would say it's like a, probably like a three out of five for how watered down it is. Like it tastes a little watered down to yeah, me. Yeah, I would say, um, I would go with probably three or for, for me actually <laughs> yeah um and then so for like the spice I would probably go like a four like I can definitely taste like the chai I would say three because I can taste the chai but I feel like it's a very muted taste yeah I mean okay. it's still good but yes but I wouldn't say if you like uh the spice of this I, I guess this wouldn't be the one for you yes <laughs> but they do do flavored chais um and I will say they have a strawberry horchata chai favorite chai tea I've ever had which is why like I like Dutch Bros so much is specifically for that but all right we'll see you with the next with the next tea soon hopefully yes <laughs> Alrighty, so we have the next chai tea here um it's at a place called Rx Brew um and we are currently filming in, in the place we don't know why we do this because it's aesthetic um can you get my morning bed head because I didn't like totally brush my hair. I'm all put together. <laughs> but this she wakes up this way. <laughs> Just go with it. Take yes, it. I do, I do. Um so for me, I think for this one, like one to five, um, it's definitely less wired down. So like a four for strength, I guess. Um, but it's like a one out of three for spice, I think. I actually would put mine out of five for spice. I like the way they spiced it. I'm not sure it's strong spice, mm. but I like the way they did it. And I actually would give it like two. It's pretty watered down in my opinion. Really? Yeah. It tastes less watered down to me than uh, Dutch Bros. Interesting. Taste is all subjective, of course, but... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but yeah, because like I want my spice to be more cinnamony, so... <laughs> All right, so that's Delicious. it for the reading of this one since we couldn't think of anything new. Exactly. See you next time. All right, so here we have our next chai tea uh, at this place called White Buffalo. If you can't tell by the buffalo singing yet. Right. <laughs> um, this is a place that I don't believe uh, is very common up north, but I'm pretty sure it's fairly common down south, just like the Dutch Bros one. Um, so for this one, I'm going to have to give the like watered downness strength of it like uh, five out of five. It does not taste watered down. It does at all. not at all, and I would put the spices at a good four if it's a scale from one to five, right? Yeah, it is. So yeah, I put the spices at four. It's pretty strong, yeah. but not so strong as to where it's like assaulting you. <laughs> right. I would have to do five and four for this, or five out of four for the spices as well, because like I could definitely really taste the cinnamon. It's good. Yeah, it's I like pretty it good. I think this is my favorite one so far. It is mine too as well. <laughs> but, like I said, Dutch Bros is strawberry horchata chai. I really like it. <laughs> okay, we'll see you with the next one. Hi, welcome back. We are um, at the last coffee shop that we can go to in Oklahoma. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of others, but... These are just the ones we knew of. Yep, and so it's called The Cup. Um, and so for me... 
and we had limited time to do this with each other. Just keep that in mind as well. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> For me, I'd say it's a uh, a four on spice, but a five on watered down. It does not taste watered down at all. And I think they might use whole milk instead of like no fat milk. And that's why it doesn't taste wa as watered down to me. They definitely use something. I think the spices are pretty, I don't know, it's a bit weird to me. It's almost like the spice is too strong or something. It's, it kind of gives me more of a nutty taste than yeah. I expected. I think it's more like nutmeg or allspice than cinnamon. Yeah, and I'm used to them being more cinnamon. So I guess on yeah. the spice ra spice one, I'll, I'll give it a four this time. And I agree yeah. that this isn't probably watered down at all, so a five on that. But, uh, so the winners, I would say, I for me... I'd say the cup is first, just because it's not watered down at all, and I do like the spice, even though it's not as cinnamony. And then second place would be um, RX, because the spice is stronger at RX. I can't really remember the RX that one that well, but I know if that probably means it wasn't that impressionable by my mind. I think I really like the white buffalo one, which is like the one we did yesterday or something. Yes. Because we is. filmed this over a curse of days. We weren't going to drink tons of caffeine oh, all right. one day. We decided that was a bad idea, so... But this week, we've had so much caffeine. So much. So... And sugar. Oh, yeah. Too much sugar. Too much sugar. <laughs> but... We'll see you next time, and hopefully we'll do another one of these in Michigan. That would be really cool. Especially since I know quite a few places in Michigan from college. Yes, <laughs> maybe that one will be longer. Um, Probably. I know at least five to six places off the top of my head. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye!